up everyone? Good morning. How are my beautiful friends this morning? I have with me my third, no, second, sorry, second mini Natasha Denona palette. It is the Natasha Denona mini glam palette, which I've been wanting for so, so long, and I'm so happy to share this experience with you guys. Um, so we're going to open it together because I didn't open it yet and I wanted to do it with you guys, so that's what we're going to do. Try and get it open. Try and get it like. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at those beautiful shades. They're breathtaking. They're just simply breathtaking. I'm going to open this to show you guys. I'm going to read to you the names of the shades on the back. So, this beautiful goldish, goldish shade called Fay. No, sorry. It's called Fay. This beautiful transition shape is called seed and we have anjo and we have harlow and we have here we have golden flesh so i'm going to prime my eyes with my trusty fenty pro filter I just want to make sure I get this right. Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. So. Has a really nice applicator. Really nice applicator. Uh, I, I don't even think I need a brush to plumb this out because it's so... Silky, so creamy. Okay, I'm gonna apply the same amount on this side. I just turned over the doe foot applicator to its other uh, other side. I'm gonna touch up a little bit over here. I think I, I didn't get as close to the lash line as I should have. Okay, we're gonna put this away from you. Now, the first brush that I'm going to use, I'm gonna show you guys in one second. I just have to grab my little MAC brush bag. I'm going to choose a brush from the millions of brushes that I have. And we are going to start with this brush, which is my Sonia Kashuk Eye Crease Brush. And we are going to go in with this shade right here, which is called called seed sorry I am partially colorblind just so you guys know I but somehow my makeup comes out on point every time every day and I'm very I don't, I don't let it I don't let it cripple me I don't let it you know say well I'm not as good of a professional makeup artist because I am partially colorblind that doesn't happen I don't let it cripple me I don't want it to find me and that's that So I'm going to go in with seed. Well, it's 
blending out really nicely. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more on my brush. Sorry guys, I have a little Fenty Beauty mirror right next to my phone, so if I'm going like this, just so I can get a better look at it. So I'm still completely 100% giving you my attention. I just have to check in the mirror for a second. Okay, it looks good. They blend beautiful. The shades up by blending really nice. We're going to do the same on the other eye. And add a little more. I'm going to pick up a little more on my brush. Covering the entire lid as the base and transition color. This brush is a little stiff for some reason. I believe I have another crease brush, but I do not know where it is at this very moment. I'm going to make it slightly darker. First, we're going to Looking good so far. The next shade, I'm gonna change out my brush. The next shade, guys, that we are gonna go in with is going to be. This is my Urban Decay Double Ended Brush. This brush is like sort of a packing brush, and this brush is a shading brush. So we're going to take, we're going to take this dark brown right here, and we're going to put this in the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit. And I've heard that the Mini Glam Palette is, is a very consistent product, that it's always the, the, the textures of the the textures of the shadows are very are very consistent um i did hear some of the other natasha you know many palettes some of them are inconsistent as far as the quality but i have the mini glam palette and i also have the new palette and both perform absolutely beautifully as you can see so i'm gonna mark where i want this to start which is going to be in the outer corner, of course. I'm going to fix my a little more. Okay, so 
looking really good. I'm just going to drag it a little bit towards my lash line, just a little bit. I got to make that a little darker. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I just needed to build it up just a little bit. But other than that, it's performing absolutely wonderfully. I'm loving this palette so far. We're going to do the same on the other leg, guys. I'm just adding more product onto my brush. So how is everyone doing this morning? Well, it's morning where I am in New York. It is 6.41 in New York right now. Where, do you, where, where are you guys from? Where is everybody from? Drop a comment below and let me know where you are from. If you're from... New York, I already like you. <laughs> I love all of you guys. I'm just playing. Okay, so, like I did with the other lid, I rather, I'm going to drag a little bit towards my lash line. Just going slightly towards the middle, but not too much. product onto my brush. I'm just going to kind of darken this up and build it up just a little bit more. This palette is beautiful, you guys. Like, I am, and I'm so glad, I'm so very, very, very grateful that I can share this experience with you guys. I just want to look at them, make sure that they're even on both sides. That they have an equal amount of product on both sides. This one I need to expand just a little bit. I'm just going to even this side out a little bit. I love using dark matte shades on my outer corners, guys. It's just been my thing for a long time. And I love it. Okay. That's looking good. So, I'm going to change out my brush again. I'm going to grab a different brush. And my small shadow brush, also by Sonia Kashuk as well. And I'm going to go in with this absolutely breathtaking silver shade and again this shade is called Anjo or Anjo A-N-J-O Anjo or it could just be my um, my New York accent so maybe that's it too <laughs> so I'm going to apply some product onto my brush and there's no fallout guys which I absolutely love I'm going to focus this shadow on the center lid and also on the inner corners. Look 
open it a little bit more, but it's looking great so far. And I really appreciate your patience as far as I don't, I'm learning, still learning how to use all these special effects when it comes to making videos and editing the videos and speeding up certain parts of videos and so on and so forth. So really, really, really appreciate you guys being so patient. She looks so nice. I love it. So we're going to do the same thing on the app now, lid. This has to be like probably so far my favorite mini lamp palette is I mean favorite mini lamp palette favorite mini Natasha Denona palette like the mini mini not the 15 pan palette but the mini minis they're perfect they're super travel friendly they can fit in your purse or if you're going to the gym and afterwards you want a fresh off you can fit it in your gym bag your pocket book you can put it in a little satchel you could or or even a little clutch. It's looking great. I love it. And now we are going to take the brightest shade in the palette, which is this shade right here, which is called Golden Flesh. I'm going to put that on the very center of the lid, but going a little towards the bottom with it. I'm going to use the opposite side of this brush. Oh wow. All right, there's a little bit of fallout that I do have to note. It's very minimal, and I'm just going to very lightly just kind of flick it off. Not flick it off, but kind of like that. All right, I'm going to grab some more product. I'm going to do the same on this lid, going on the towards the lower center part of the lid. beautiful. What I am going to do though guys is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to apply the same sh sh just the, the, the same shade I just applied on both lids. I'm going to use my finger this time because I want to see if there's a different color payoff. Oh yeah. I definitely see a difference. I love it. I'm gonna use. You know what? I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more. Okay, next I Okay guys, I'm gonna put on my lashes and some liner and I'm gonna be back with the final look, okay? See you guys in a few. Hey guys, I'm back. So this is the final look. My using my Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette. 
Look number one. I thank all of you for taking a few minutes out of your day, morning, night, whatever time it is, wherever you guys are, to watch this video. It really moves my heart. It means so much to me. I love you all so much. You have no idea. And um, I hope you enjoy the video. I sure did. And I look forward to doing my next Natasha Denona video tomorrow. See you then. Bye, guys.